and welcome to Best of the Backroads. We've had some fun out of doors, but now I'm back in the studio and getting serious again about the NEBDR. It's three weeks away and I'm not done packing at all. I did talk a little bit about first aid kits, now I'm going to talk a little bit about repair kits. A few things you need to consider when putting together your toolkit is the distance you're going. Are you going for a week, a month, a year, longer? The carrying capacity of your motorcycle is a GS or is it a DRZ? Or, and where it is geographically located. Is it going to be hard to get certain parts? For me, my trip on the BDR is in the northeastern United States. Not terribly hard to find parts, assuming I can get down off the mountain. The, the DRZ doesn't have a lot of carrying capacity. And my journey is about a week long, so my kit can be a little bit smaller and it's tailored to, to those factors. You should also tailor it to your mechanic ability. If you're an experienced mechanic, carry what you want. If you're more of a novice mechanic, only carry what you can use or have used. Otherwise, it's kind of going to be a waste of space. It's not necessarily the best time to figure out anything when you're out on the trail. Sometimes you just have to ask for help. And as a matter of fact, a lot of stories, a lot of adventure rider stories, and, and good times are found from getting help from other folks. So if you, if you need to, don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, but, but you do want to be able to be safe and get yourself off a mountain if you, if you need to. So I'm going to go through what I'm personally carrying and talk a little bit about why I'm carrying it. I think the one thing you want to be able to do, no matter what motorcycle you're riding, is repair a flat. It's probably the most common showstopper and it's also the most temporary showstopper there should be. You should always have some way to repair your tire. Now there's a bunch of ways and some tires are tubeless, so, some have tubes and I'm only going to touch on what I'm taking, what I myself am taking on my trip down the BDR and I'm on a DRZ which means I have tubes for my tires. So I will be carrying a tube and uh, I normally only carry the front tube. I, the, the wheel diameter is 21 inches up front and 18 in the back and I can barely get away with putting the 21 inch tube in the in the rear if I have to but it, it definitely these things aren't heavy but they are bulky and I don't want to carry two if I don't have to knowing that if it's a rear tire flat I'm probably gonna just put this one in to get me to uh, to where I uh, where I can put the proper tube in the other thing is the the uh, my traveling buddy Chris is gonna carry the other size tubes so I'm carrying the front wheel tube he's carrying a rear wheel tube hopefully Hopefully we don't have more than one flat at a time. But a couple tips on tubes. The first is, if yours has been sitting around and you haven't uh, checked it in a while, fill it up with a bicycle pump and then let the air out of it. I've already done that with this. You don't want to have it have either dry rotted or gotten a hole in it in storage and then when you get out there you have a, a flat tube. The other thing I do is I pre-baby powder my tubes and I'm going to do this outside off camera, but I'll just kind of shake up this baby powder on this tube. I'll put some baby powder back in this case, and then I'll put it all together just like that. Now, for those of you who don't know, what baby powder does is it lubricates the, the, the inner tube so it doesn't stick to your tire as you're shoving it in there. It's a, it's a trick I've used a lot and I love it and I don't want to carry baby powder out there. I don't actually want to, don't want to use water necessarily. It's not slick enough. I don't want to have a little bottle of Dawn. But if you prepackage your, uh, your uh, tube in this and put a little baby powder, I'll put a little rubber band around it, it, it'll be just fine. It'll be nice and ready to slide right in a tire. Makes it a lot easier on the change and uh, keeps, your, uh, keeps your gear bag fresh. So that's the tube I'm going to carry in our tube plan. The only big thing I carry is I actually carry these full length um, spoons. They're just what I'm more comfortable with. Some people can get away with smaller spoons, but uh, when I'm breaking a bead and getting a tire changed, I want to do it quickly. So, uh, so these are the, the, the uh, tire irons I use and uh, I'll show, show you where I put them on the bike. But some people carry... Uh, uh, CO2 cartridges or other kinds of pumps, I actually go ahead and have one of these mini pumps with me. And the reason is, uh, particularly with the DRZ, I will air down my tires when I'm taking uh, rougher roads and then I'll air them back up to, to travel longer distances if I'm slabbing it. So during the course of the day, if I'm doing a long slog across some slab, I'll air up my tires and, and that's just hard to do with CO2 cartridges and it's much easier to do with uh, 
with a with a mini air compressor. There's a whole bunch. This is stop and go. It actually plugs into my uh, uh, charging dongle. So if you have a if you have a uh, a battery tender for your motorcycle, then this plugs into the battery tender. So it works really well. You just plug it in and and pump up your tires. It also fits in in a nice little package like this. Along with that, I actually carry a pair of small jumper cables, and it actually fits on that same battery tender dongle, and then this side would go to someone else's motorcycle. I do this out of pure laziness. If my buddy or someone I find needs a jump, I can just plug it in. I don't have to take off my seat or do anything. He can take off his seat to, to, to jump his bike, but I don't have to. So I, always, I keep that in here in my, in my battery kit, and uh, I'll, I'll put this all together. It, it sits in a nice little kit like that. The other thing I include in there is a tire gauge, and because that deals with the electrical components, I actually keep a couple fuses for the DRZ, all the sizes it has, and uh, I just put them in a little Ziploc bag, and I'll put it and pack it away right in here. It all fits in this pack nicely. So there you have it, the pump, the jumper cables, and uh, some fuses for the bike, all in this neat little package. I'll actually stick this on the side of, of a saddlebag. I have an outer pocket. I'll show you where when we go out to the bike. That takes care of a lot of the tire changing uh, specialty items. And then I still have my tools over here. Um, starting with PPE, you may get to a point where, uh, where things get messy and uh, you need some gloves. Always pack a few. I pack two or three pairs. They're light. They stick down in anything. And uh, not only for repairs, but I actually have used these gloves to clean up a campsite or a near campsite area that, that wasn't cleaned up when I got there. And it's always nice to be able to put some disposable gloves on and, and fix that. And it fits right down in its, in its pack. The rest of what I carry is the tools I need to work on the motorcycle. So these here. So I carry, this is a front wheel. Um, this is for my front wheel socket. It is a little specialized. The good thing about this is it actually fits my many motorcycles too. The way this, this tool works, 17 to 24 uh, uh, socket to remove your, uh, your front tire. Two sock, two large sockets for my rear tire. The socket driver, exactly what I need over here and, and is what I'd use to change a tire. Unfortunately, the nuts on the rear tire and the front tire are just so big. Um, I hate to take those tools, but you almost have to. A flat tire is going to be the most common thing that puts a stop to your trip. The rest of the time, you're probably going to be all right. The rest of my tools are just what fits the DRZ and what I need to tighten up bolts, remove things, maybe even change some oil. Um, I do have a spark plug socket. I've never actually had to use it. I've never dumped in the water. So I've never had to pull a spark plug when I've been on a trip. I've always just been able to, to do that maintenance before or after. Uh, pliers, you're always grabbing something. They can be used to move any bolt, lever, uh, bend back uh, bodywork if it gets crunched. Uh, throw a small pair of pliers in with your bag. I just use a cheap screwdriver. This is one that has, uh, I think it came in a motorcycle kit I had at one time, and it's just a flat and a Phillips head. Works great for the DRZ, one little package. Um, don't get, doesn't need to get too complicated. Just carry the Allen keys you need for your bike and accessories. Remember to measure your accessories. You may have mounted some accessories that are slightly different than your bike. Be sure you have the Allen keys to uh, use them. And then I have wrenches, and unfortunately with the DRZ, they span several sizes from 8 millimeters to 17 millimeters. Uh, I just have the sizes I need. M most of the time, most often I've used these for mirrors or turn signal replacement or repair. So. That, that's what I found most of the time you're going through and you get your mirrors knocked over. If you have a dump, you break a mirror or you need to straighten a mirror and, uh, and you need to loosen the nut to do that. I really haven't had too many breaks other than that. These wrenches are also enough to do an oil change. Uh, I'm not going to take an uh, oil change on the DRZ. We are parking a car midway and it's actually going to have an oil change for both bikes just in case we need it. But I doubt we will. I've never really had to change oil uh, in the middle of a week trip, any uh, week long trip anyway. The only possibility I can think is if we dump it in the water or something like that, then we might need to change the oil or have a bad wreck and we lose some oil. Either way, that those are pretty damaging to a trip, and we'll have to figure our way uh, through those. It's not something we want to put in a kit to uh, uh, to carry all the time. 
I do always carry some wire. Um, you'd be surprised I've actually wired a skid plate up with this or some body work. Maybe you've, uh, a nut has fallen out of your bark busters or some other protective gear. You could use a little bit of wire to, uh, to replace that and wire it up till you can get a bolt to replace it. Uh, so I always carry a little bit of wire. I probably won't carry this much. I'll unwrap it and wind it up on, uh, on uh, one of these wrenches or something. And then I do carry zip ties, same thing. Uh, if it's not hot, you can get away with a zip tie to cover up those spots. Or if a, if a bag is ripping, maybe you can poke a hole through it and uh, use a zip tie to get you through the rest of the trip, uh, zip tying it up. They're really strong and they really do work. The only thing zip ties uh, don't work on is if it's near a hot engine part or, or exhaust and then you have to go with the wire. This is all I'm gonna carry on the BDR trip. I have carried more. I honestly, I've really not ever um, had too much of a problem where, where I've needed more than this. Most of the time I can repair anything long enough to get me to town. The number one thing you can make sure to carry and can be in your toolkit is this. Have a credit card and uh, a little bit of room on it so that if you do need something fixed when you get to a shop, put all this stuff together and I'll show you where I'm gonna mount it on the bike. This is a Nelson rig bag and uh, I've actually drilled a hole up under into the fender and then put a hole in the bag and a grommet in the bag so there's one bolt that kind of fits on there and then these straps tie down. It's not going anywhere and really the bolt's just there for safety purposes. I've ridden around with just these straps on and it's been fine. This is most of my toolkit except for what you saw uh, where my air pump goes. And the air pump I'm going to actually take back here and put in uh, in this side pocket right here. Goes on this, that goes on this outer side pocket. The reason it goes on the outside pocket is that's really the thing I use most if we're in multiple terrain, whether and going back and forth from uh, off road or rocky off road, and then back to back to pavement. We air our tires up several times, maybe even during the day. If we know we're going to do a long uh, long stretch of pavement, we'll air our tires up. But when the when when the terrain warrants it. We'll go ahead and air those tires down so uh, so we can uh, so we can have the dirt bike experience. So we keep it out here where we can always reach it, and it has the tire gauge and pressure gauge with it. Like I mentioned, the dongle is right here, so I just pop it out and plug it in right there. One thing about this Nelson bag is it has the double zipper right there, and just just to be. And I'm doing it one-handed, but just to be complete, I always put a zip tie in there, and I just zip tie it closed. That way, it uh, it won't open accidentally, and I'll have to actually force it open when it's time to use the toolkit. Hopefully, I don't ever have to use that toolkit. Everything in there, I shouldn't really have to grab. Lefty, where'd you put your tire irons? They are the full-size Motion Pro tire irons, and I love to use them when I'm changing a tire. They're just they're just my favorite tool when I when I change a tire, and if I'm going to be out changing a tire on a trip. I want to use the tools that uh, that make me most comfortable, but they are a little bit longer. They don't fit in a bag good. Um, so what I've done, and I admit I may get some criticism for this, is I lash it with three zip ties and a metal zip tie to the subframe. And I don't know if you can see it up under here, like right against the subframe, but they don't move. They don't clang together. They're not going anywhere. I've kind of been testing that and they've got hundreds of miles where they've ridden there. No problem. Um, they do get dirty. You do have to wash them. I kind of oil them up, clean them real good like I would a tool. I wouldn't want to leave them there to rust, but for a nice long trip, I'm going to put them right here and I can use them and uh, they won't take up bag space. So there you go. That's all I'm taking with me on the BDR when I'm traveling in a couple weeks. Sorry it got so dark. I've been so busy. It's, uh, it's been hard to get on packing for the BDR, and I've still got a rear tire to change. That's bad light. I've still got a rear tire to change on the DRZ. I've got a ton of stuff to do, um, so I end up doing it kind of after dark, and here we are. But I did want to tell you and show you what I'm actually taking. Feel free to comment below on what you'd take or what you'd switch out or what you personally like. A lot of people really have valid personal likes uh, uh, for kits, and I'd love to hear yours. I'm still dropping videos every Monday and most Fridays. I'm going to hit this Friday and hopefully back on the Friday bandwagon. See you on the road. Don't want to play games out with the moves. Don't want to meditate. Girl, with you it's hard. Fill in the blanks. Text me back. Throw me